PanicAttackRecovery.com. Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, anxiety, stress, and ADHD. This is part two of the video series we're doing on happiness versus pleasure. In the first video, we discussed how those things that bring you immediate pleasure cause a hit of the neurotransmitter dopamine in your brain. On the other hand, those things that bring you true happiness are related to serotonin, which leads to contentment, and this is different from short-term pleasure. Serotonin inhibits excitement between nerve cells, and that's why it can lead to the feeling of contentment, or zenning out, where you don't feel as though you need anything else in the moment. Now, there are many ways you can increase serotonin naturally that we share through our various podcasts, videos, and free newsletter. However, today we'll provide you with some quick and easy ways to make way in your life so that those things that may be blocking you from happiness are no longer in your way. In our experience, some truly great ways to allow you to focus on what truly makes you happy is by integrating the following three principles into your daily life. These three principles are simplifying, minimizing, and organizing. One, simplifying. To simplify, start by thinking about how you can make things simpler in your daily life. When you spend some time thinking about simplifying things, you will be amazed with what you come up with. Two, minimizing. Learn to get rid of things you don't require or care about anymore. Throw out things that are no longer any good, but consider donating old items when they've been replaced with something new. If you want more tips, you can even do an internet search on decluttering and organizing. There's an abundance of good information out there on minimalism. 3. Organizing. Spend time on a regular basis with the day planner or electronic planning. Stick to a system so that you keep it simple and you can become proficient with whatever system you are using. Taking time to plan can be a very powerful tool. A method many people have found very helpful is Getting Things Done by David Allen. However, there are many great systems out there and if you really want to, you can even design your own. Thank you for watching and we look forward to presenting another video next week. For the extended version of the material presented in this video, you can listen to the podcast episode by visiting our website and subscribing to our free newsletter. PanicAttackRecovery.com